So now it's time to create the backend. And the way you do that is of course we have to create a Spring Web project or Spring Boot Web project. And the way I do that, I will go to the website which is start.spring.io and this is where you can create your Spring Boot project. Of course, if you have the IntelliJ Ultimate version, you can directly create from there. So in the IntelliJ Community version, you can't create a Spring project. If you click on New Project, you can see Spring is there, but you have to use the Ultimate version. But we, let's say we don't have the Ultimate version. How do you make it work? So in that case, you create a Spring Boot project on, in, on the Spring Initializer. So we'll create a Maven project, and the language we are using is Java. And then the Spring Boot version is this. Here, I'm going to make uh, com.telisco and the artifact is Spring AI Demo. And the jar packaging, the version of uh, Java I'm using 21, which is the LTS version. And here, we have to first of all get the Spring Web. And since I'm going to use the AI feature, then we have to decide, okay, what are the AI I need? First of all, I need OpenAI, not from Azure, but this one, OpenAI. So depending upon which AI model you're going to use, you have to add those dependencies. So OpenAI is done. Then we have to also do it for the Olama and the Entropy. So you have to add this three dependencies. In fact, for web, OpenAI, Olama, and cloud, okay, Entropic. Now, once you have this dependency, you can just explore it here once to see all the dependencies are here properly mentioned. Click on, in fact, I will click on close here and click on generate, it will, download the project as you can see i got the project here i will unzip this project on the other screen i don't want to show you my extra files i'm just unzipping it okay let me just have it in downloads that's fine i will just move it later now once i have the project in downloads i will open that from my intellij idea community version i will click on open okay so I, as you can see in downloads i got this project it took some time for the syncing i will select this project and click on open and yes trust this particular folder and yeah, so we got our backend ready here. Now, even if you have the backend, if you run this project, so I'll go back here and run this. So this is a web project. I hope all the syncing and downloading of the dependencies have been done. Okay, great. So let me just run this. And when you run this project, it should work, right? We, have, we did nothing, but still it will not work. It says the open AI API key must be set. It's because you have added a dependency for open AI. So if you go back here in the POM file, we got uh, Anthropic, of course we got web, but we got Anthropic, Spring Boot Starter, Olama, and OpenAI. For OpenAI, it makes it compulsory, but not for Anthropic. Maybe when they started working with Spring AI, the first project which they've added is OpenAI, and they're ma making it mandatory, but that's fine. What I can do is if, I, if they're asking for the op API key, I will just go to resources. Inside resources, there's an application or property file and they are promoting IntelliJ Ultimate version. I don't want to go for that now. Uh, now here we have to set the property. Now I'm not sure what the property is. Of course, it should give suggestion. It's not doing that in the ultimate in the community version. Uh, we can ask AI. But then if you look for the documentation for different models, so if I click on AI models in the documentation, and if I go to chat models, search for open AI here, and yeah, this is the uh, Configuration, if I'm not wrong. Okay, it's here. So this is the key. Copy this, paste it here, and then you have to set the value. Now, where's the value? Remember, we did that previously. This is the key. I will just copy this and paste it here. Save. I hope this will work now because we have set the key. And in fact, the key name is, they have already mentioning that here. We don't even have to go to documentation. Anyway, so I will just run this once again after making those changes, and this time it should be happy. Please don't complain. Okay, there are some warnings. Anyway, ignore that. And if you see, it says it is started. Now, since it is started, I can just verify my spring. In fact, this project is still working. No, fail to fetch, still not working. Now, what is going wrong here? See, we have a backend ready, it's running. The only problem is backend is actually not ready. We are hitting a URL, right? Now we have to create controllers which will handle those URLs and will not make it work for everything to start with. We'll work one by one. The first one will work with OpenAI, then we'll work with uh, Anthropic, and then we'll try local. So based on which one you're working with, you can watch that video, okay? I will just go step by step in each video, hopefully. Otherwise you can watch and it's your wish if you want to practice that. I mean, I would suggest go in sequence. Now, the thing is, we have to create three different files, one for OpenAI, one for Anthropic, and one for the Llama. 
Ulama. Uh, but since we are working with Anthropic, we have to also set the key for the Anthropic, right? So I will just enter it here. And what is the property for Anthropic? Even I'm not, I don't remember. We don't have to buy hard those things, right? Anyway, you're going to do that only once. So I will click on Anthropic. I hope they will set the property. Yeah, it's there. Copy this, paste equal to, and get the key from here. So copy this key, paste it here, and looks good. Okay, we got both the keys. Uh, for Llama, you don't have to mention anything. It's running in local, so it should work. So these are the two keys you have to mention. But then since we have multiple models in the machine, it will be confused which one to go for. So by default, when you use the Olama chat model, by default, it will search for Mistral. And that's how it is configured. Now, if you want to change it, you can set one more property, which is OpenAI Olama. In fact, this should it should be there here for Olama. You can set the model. Okay, you can specify the URL. Anyway, do we have a property? Okay, this is the property in which you can set dot model. So I will just copy this and paste it here, dot model. So we can set multiple things. One of them is model. And you can mention which model you're working with. So if you see the list, which I already have, so Llama list, and depends upon which model you're running. Uh, so I will go for this one first, which is lightweight, and I'll paste that here. So that it will run this model to start with. Okay, so these are the properties you have to mention, nothing much. And once we have done with the property files, we can start with each model, which we'll do in the upcoming videos.